Say she never she rolled in the seven right either, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love my shit, yeah, my yeah, nigga. Man. I know you do. Yo, we back with another little vlog, man. I had to sit the phone down and just go around. It's hot. Uh, long pants out here, long joggers at that, that, man. I had to roll them things up. But uh, back up in Tally. I was stuck in four pills for probably about three and a half weeks. You feel me? I can't really say I was stuck. I'm going to take that back. I just ain't feel like getting on the road and drive five hours to Tallahassee. But um, I finally built up the energy to hop on the road and slide and whatnot. I had to come back and check on my business. But um, while I was down there, I was practicing safe social distancing. Uh, this is seen, this thing seen, seen, whatever you want to call that crap. But um, I was practicing safe social distancing. That, uh, whatever. You get what I'm trying to say. Um, I did link up with a couple people. You feel me? That got cars in the city and whatnot. So I got vlogs coming. I done posted vlogs uh, uh, prior to this video that I'm finna get ready and drop. We got hella footage that I haven't dropped yet. Can't tell y'all what it is, but it's, it, it, it's gonna be some good ass footage. I'm supposed to be going back down there. Um, I think, well, let me see. Probably this weekend. I think I'm gonna leave out probably Thursday or Friday. Whenever I get done with this video, probably, because I still gotta take the top off. Um, I still got to strip off the molding. Damn, bro. I knew that shit was gonna happen, but anyway, um, I still got to take off like moldings, trims, and whatnot. Uh, damn, what else I got to take off? Everybody, is this the trim and whatnot? The offer lights. I got to find out how to take that bull crap off. Damn, what was I talking about? If I was really interrupted by a damn phone call. Matter of fact, I know what it was. Um, by finishing up the box and whatnot, taking off the trim, all that, so I can go ahead and shit this thing to Fufu, man. I talked to Fufu when yesterday. He was supposed to swing by here and whatnot, take a look at the car. But um, I ain't gonna really say word about it. We we'll go ahead and drop that thing off to him next week. I'm gonna try to bring the Altima back to Tallahassee too, man, because it's, uh, it's a car show coming up in Cottonwood that I wanna go to, Cottonwood, Alabama. Uh, I'm trying to get everything, man, because this, this, I, I need some slide therapy. Like, if you got a car, you know what I mean by slide therapy. Like, going out, hanging out with your dogs, you feel me, piling in and drinking. Um, and just basically having a good time, man. So I think I'm going to hit the one up in Cottonwood. I'm going to get me a little hotel down there, a little Airbnb. So I'm part of the car side of the garage. I'm going to take the Altima down. I know it's a lot of people in Alabama that be asking about the Altima. They've never seen it in person. They don't ever come to Florida or the Florida Classic or anything. So um, I'm going to take it to Alabama. Basically show that thing off, man. I got, I got to do a little touch up on it and whatnot. But um, that's pretty much about it. So on this vlog, what I'm going to end up doing is uh, removing the door panels and whatnot because I found out how to do it. Remove the door panels clean behind there and um, spray probably about an inch or two in the center of it and I'm spraying it flat black. I don't want to see no white on this car once I'm finished with it. The only, the only part that I probably can bear with knowing that's white is probably the roof. But other than that, I don't want to see no dojans behind this part because what if I need to go to the audio shop and for some crazy odd reason I need to take off the damn dope man. I don't want nobody seeing that my car is half done. You get what I'm saying? So therefore I'm gonna spray that part uh, flat black. So when Fufu go ahead and get ready and spray the car, he can just spray everything else like the dough gems or whatnot, and probably about an inch or two in the inside, that'll be the same color as the car. And then everything else in the center will be flat black. Another thing that I'm gonna try to figure out is how to take this damn offer light off. A couple people that um, that I subscribed to, they ended up taking theirs off, so I may end up hitting them up. Trying to see how do I go about with that part. Another thing that's getting removed is this trim line across the windshield. I'm gonna end up uh, scrubbing that down and polishing it and whatnot. As you can see, I don't know, I already don't remove one. But this is something else that I'm gonna end up asking um, somebody that got a box ship that I subscribe to as well. It's how in the hell do I remove this chrome piece on the door? I see some people, they leave it on when they paint the car. But uh, if I could be able to take it off without bending it and messing it up, then I'm end up taking it off. If not, that shit stand up. So as y'all see, I done popped off the little clips. Y'all know my motto. Get y'all some Ziploc bags and bag and tag, man, so y'all don't lose these little pieces. It's like little pieces there, 
them shits right there ain't gonna be no good after you stick the uh the drill bit up in it but the little pieces that come here and this right here you gonna need to bag and tag man because you don't well you can't really say lose these good once you take them to the interior shop but these little pieces right here you don't want to be riding around and you bought Chevy and then you're missing those pieces so you might want to just bag and tag I'll drill it right through. Pause right on that. All right, so once you uh done popped off the rivets and then the belt comes off, get some clips like right at the edge down at the bottom, like here. I think it's one like here. And there's one down here. Now, behind the box Chevy uh, dough panels, as y'all know, shit like, let's see what I can see. It's cardboard. So therefore, when you go to go pop them down clips off, nine times out of ten, this old ass 31 year old cardboard is going to rip. So you gotta be extra careful with it. Or either your poster person is just gonna end up putting a fresh piece of cardboard back up with some of those clips. So you can just go ahead and just pop them back in once you get your uh, your door panels back. <laughs> Using the wrong squeegee, to be honest with you. You must have to be right there. Okay, there we go. Okay, big squeegee. There we go. That time I pulled out a whole entire damn foot. That's what I'm talking about. And then I think it's one more right there. Right there. Just a simple, oh, you gotta unscrew this, I forgot. I actually got like three, three of these from my first boss ship that I ever had. I think I still got like three, I'm not mistaken. Like, I think I'm gonna end up going with the ones that's like a bullet. Cause with my rims, they got like these new like little spike things and I feel like it's gonna be dope with the type of rims I'm gonna get in the box. Oh, this you just lift. So I um, ended up giving it a little tug at the at the top and I popped it off with the little clamps. This part right here is the part that I ended up running into. You're gonna need like an Allen screw. Oh, damn, where is that damn? What a little screw it. I think it's on the back of the panel. One second. Yep, it's on the back of the panel. Right. Let me see that thing focus right now. I need to stick an Allen key up in that and then turn it left and then it'll loosen up the uh, the little trigger thing for the driver side mirror. All right, so I'm about to speed up the little process on the back of those. Go ahead and snatch the things up. Front ends off. Another thing, man, in order to take off this little foam piece right here, all you gotta do is just release those little black little clamps and then there's some glue that's holding it down at the bottom and on the sides and just pull it up. Alpine in the dash, and the dudes in the ass, and that wet, wet paint shit look like glass. 